at Gen versus Venya in winner semis. Now we're gonna start it off on PS2. So let's get right into it. All right, Jen trying to shield that back here, but he does get a confirm off of it. Jen starting off already putting 30, 31% on him. Yeah, I'm missing up a little bit. <laughs> I am mixing up my words. All right. Ben, you're getting a dash attack into an up air. Air dodge, Jen air dodging the second up air. Yep, and now we're gonna see these up air strings coming out from Jen. I'm not going to get him with the Explosive Flame, though. Jack gets him with a death attack. Venya follows up with a dash attack of his own. Oh, going to stuff him out at ledge whip back here. Oh, that's definitely good, uh, good patience from Venya. Just stalling his air a little bit with the uh, Water Shuriken. Going to reflect that Water Shuriken. Oh, good DI from Jen avoiding that that down tilt to forward air combo. Uh, but Venya is going to tag Jen with the dash attack, taking Jen for a stock. All right. Both players now just trying to find a little opening, and ben Venya finds it with an up tilt. Oh, getting, getting the Nairs. Nairs in the up tilt. Another up tilt. Can't get that up here. Ah, but Jen chasing Venya down and ch hitting him with the back air, but not going to take the stock, but that Nair will. Okay, Jen just bouncing around Venya. It's going to be very hard for Jen, though, to get uh, an explosive flame off of him, though. I can't get him with the up smash. But uh, Jen throwing out an up air to avoid any retaliation from, from Venya. And Venya is going to tag Jen with that down smash. And Venya is sitting at a comfortable position at 35% on his second stock. Okay. Can't get the back air. Gets a, gets a back air there, though. Ooh. Okay. Get the tags him a little bit with a dash attack. Yeah, Venya just have, giving Jen a hard time just getting him back to stage. Pitches him with an air. Fourth throw. <laughs> okay, throw, throw in an explosive one to avoid any edge guarding. Oh, catches him with an up air. Already so sorry about that interruption. I just have to take a quick little breather. But right now, Venya up 2 to 1 stocks against Greedy Chan. And right now, this is a matchup that's very, very dependent on the ledge trapping. And now you're going to see, ooh, King, uh, Venya almost got that neutral B off. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we'll just pretend. Can we just pretend that killed, though? <laughs> yeah, I think we're just gonna clip it right there and then cut it off before we actually yeah. see that. Just we'll pretend to that kill. <laughs> um, regardless, he's gonna go for the two frame uh, option. Yeah, not. Deep though, down yeah. tilt to forward air, but wow, not enough. He to got it though from the other the end of the stage though. Let's see. And the forward throw is gonna be it, but he just opted no. through the pummel, which is a phenomenal option in of itself. And that's gonna going to be again, it. Up throw. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> well, is, is Venya saying that there's something wrong with his button, or uh, what, what, what's he saying? Uh, I have no idea. But <laughs> right now, right. going to game two now. Mm -hmm. Going to game two, opting back, to, opting to go right back onto PS2. Um, I'm not really sure what happened in game one, but you can speak more on that. But unfortunately, we have to jump in to game two. Um, <laughs> Right off the bat, you're going to see Venya starting off a little bit more passively than he's normally known for, going with the Shuriken, which is a free 3%, and just kills Jen's momentum right then and there. 
But even with that said, all he needs is one good neutral, and that's 51.9%, which is insane to think about. Hey, I mean, just Palutena makes those nair combos very easy. All you can just do is just chain nair after nair after nair. But, but Greninja also has a good combo game of his own. I'm gonna get him with that short hop down air counter. Effectively knocking him off stage. And right now, Benya just, um, Benya is like keeping Jen in disadvantage so well. Positioned himself perfectly, but was unable to get the punish. Very unfortunate on Benya's part. And oh, he ran right hit. into that. Mm -hmm. He ran right into that explosive flame, though, unfortunately. And right now, Benya is just going to be scrambling to uh, get the win box on Jen. But Jen was not popped up, and he was still able to get a landing forward and unable to get the two flame with the back air as well. Woo! That was, a, that was definitely a strong forward air from Benya, but it did not take the stock. Ooh, that was such a great flame trap setup because if he aired out that, he would have just fallen into the down smash. Indeed. So great awareness from Benya. Yeah. That we're getting a nail, nail, uh, nail up tilt, up tilt, up air, which is a very cool 28%. And he hit with the get up attack just a little bit too close to the edge for that. Alright, now they're just both trying to find an opening. Play the neutral game up, oh, but Great Jen does action. get it back here. Down tilt, gonna get the ledge. Ah, uh, but unfortunately Jen didn't get the stage spike, so that's why he that's why Venya did not get get killed yet. Oh, uh, no, not yet. Air dodging the explosive flame. Both ways again, playing neutral, getting a back air. And right away, um, Benny is still holding onto the stock for dear life at 157%. So anything for Palutena at this moment can kill. So everything from this point moving forward is going to be extra credit. Oh, good air dodge from Benny, avoiding that forward air from Jim. 169% with the landing back air. That's definitely more than enough to take it. Then you're catching Jen with a little bit of an up smash there. Forward air coming out from Benya. Gotta keep him a little bit off stage with Hydro Pump. Ooh, both of them are just scrambling around trying to get a grab up from one another. And Jen is unfortunately not being able to string along anything after that first snare. Maybe he was hoping for the DI in from Benya considering they're on the edge of the stage. Benya leading it down tilt but not getting uh, not getting the lead, nor was he even punished for it. So it's a neutral exchange for both of the players. Good enough, he got the dash attack. He's gonna try to catch his landing with those flame traps. Again, the uphill into back hill. Great chase to the back hill, making sure to keep uh, Jen off stage. This is gonna be super, super difficult for Jen to come back, but is able to do so with the crossing up reverse and Attacking him with a back air. Trying to so snuff him out with a down tilt, but I was unfortunately unable to connect. Um, right now, Benny is looking to get something started with those down tilts or dash attacks. But like, honestly, anything. Drag down back air gets oh, up to Beautiful, beautiful stuff from Benny of there. Attack into up smash. I Still. love that up air. Just like, you know. Going in with the double jump, just committing all the way just for that extra little bit of damage. But the throw into back here, not enough to take it quite yet on Jen's part. And you see Benny and Alec playing a little bit more reservedly, going in with those reverse shurikens, just going with those forwarders, making sure that Jen doesn't have any good way to approach. But he's also so sure that he can't be hit with explosive flame or auto radical by making sure to shield after every. or, or uh, just making sure to mix it up with those short hops. Tag him a little bit with uh, with uh, Nair. Oh, yes. The dropping Nair was more than enough to kill, especially at such a high percentage, 62%. Greninja can still get quite. Greninja has a golden conversion at almost every single percent, which is why he's such an amazing character overall. 
Gun is looking for probably a downfield of the neutral right now. Just qu to quickly even up the percentages, but falling out of the first two. Oh, going to break that combo. Oh, but he drops out of the up smash. But then again, he wasn't really underneath them, so he couldn't get that whole up smash to begin with. Ah, uh, he missed that, and then Ken is able to get the punish, but a great parry from BB. Down oh, tilt. Yeah, excuse me. Down tilt to forward air. I love that grab, so, so good. Choosing to keep him back on, just to throw him off ever so slightly. <gasps> he, oh. oh, he got the read on the air dodge too, but he just barely missed on the execution of the down air, because otherwise that would have easily spelled the game. Still unable to get the win box on his upbeat. And right now, Venny is definitely looking for a forward air with all those full hops. Yeah, man, and he, he gets finds it. it. He definitely finds that forward air. So good stuff from uh, Venya taking uh, game two and now putting him at a 2 0 lead against Jen. Mm -hmm. I will actually be right back. I need some water. I am thirsty. <laughs> Never about that. I am back. Okay. So going to game three. So going into game three, uh, Jan has to find, oh, he absolutely has to find a way to close out these stocks a lot earlier because if Svenny is able to just get so much extra credit when he's really at those percents, he's able to dance around him. So Jan is either going to have to get those early kills or just be more secure in his ledge trapping against Svenny. Ooh, I love that just tech chase on that mess tech there. And that's what I mean by going for more of those early kill options. Ooh. Back here, and Jen is only at 10%. But Penny is definitely prone to make a comeback. So Luke, he's going to win this game still completely up in the air. He's missing that down tilt on shield, but uh, Jen's still able to throw out a neutral air. Mm -hmm. And right now, like, Jen is scrambling to get back onto stage, and Penny is falling out. Of the nail, probably because he low profiled a little bit. Jen getting Venya with the back air and getting another back air. Ooh, he two framed him with that down tilt. Oh, gonna counter the forward smash. Really good read though. Ah, uh, he could have charged it for a second earlier, and that would have definitely spelled the end of the stock though. Mm. I think he might have wanted to reverse his down tilt, but uh, turn around his down tilt rather, excuse me. Hit him with the explosive flame. But Jed not giving Venya any chance to make a comeback here. He's sitting at 126. But. Good reflect. Oh! That was a good reflect from Venya. That was, uh, from, that that was, was from Jen. That, that was, was really, really good. Jeez, that, that was so good. I'm just mixing these names up again. <laughs> and that's going to be the parry punish, but not quite yet. That's still is so like safe on shield that that was still able to be safe on parry like that. But wow, Venny at 44% right now. Um, still down by a whole entire stock. Jen just has to play really, really patiently, really reservedly, and then get the edge guard when he needs to, to bring it to a game four. And now just Venya. Venya is trying to, to get Jen something away. started with, with those falling arrows. Yeah. But Jen is playing so patient. Yeah, but, and if you saw that before, he was just keeping Jen at bay with the back air. Mm -hmm. First time I've seen him use side beam um, in this set so far, maybe. Ooh, that was a really, really great wait because the entire set he was just like conditioning him to think, hey, if I'm gonna wait there, I'm actually probably gonna go in with a retreating aerial. But then to mix it up with something so aggressive is brilliant on the part of Venya. Um, great back air to knock him off stage, and right now he missed the two frame back air again. Ooh, almost getting the lead on the air dodge. And I think it was a little bit of a, uh, almost died to the back two as well. Down to the back air again. Get off stage, gets back on. Oh, he almost had him with up two. And that okay. is going to be it. Yes. Even with a Matt Killick DI, that's more than enough to take out. Yeah. Too bad for you. Anyhow, moving on to game four, I believe. Uh, yep, game four. Yep, game four. Jan was able to get those early kills that I talked about a little bit. Um, yeah, so, especially on that first stock. Yep, when the first stock, like, 
make, getting making a comeback on Palutena is especially difficult because she's just so she's so consistent. She's able to hold her ground. The momentum is not so. Anyhow, opting for Smashville, and this is a beautiful stage for Gudenja, able to stay all up in Palutena's face. Just, ooh, it was a really great back here, but an even better attack from Jen, and he got the jab block into a down tilt up smash. Already a very clean 80%. That was. Perfectly executed from beginning to end on the part of Venya. Under dash attack into up smash. And he got he got the air dodge too. He got the air dodge too, but we just barely missed on the execution of it. Okay. Jen gonna get him with a forwarder. Ooh, right now he's just like maybe trying to push a jump out of shield and uh, poke, poke his shield a little bit with those down tilts. Regardless, the you're almost killing, and I love his commitment there, but the, the better the patience from Jen to recover before he got pushed up with uh, with his teleport. But still, Venia able to take out the first stock of the set, 59%, not much at all. And this is comfortably out of the range where Palutena can like uh, do a lot of things to you. Falling out of the back here, really, really unfortunate. Still getting the two flames there. Really lovely and beautifully placed with Venia. And then both of them are dancing around each other, but Venia able to land the first hit, effectively putting Jen off stage. Got the lead too, but slightly misfacing on the up tilt. They're gonna get him on the back air now. Trying to go. Ooh, I think that was a phantom footstool because he was definitely trying to get back on yeah, the stage. That was definitely a phantom footstool. So that was a little bit unfortunate for, for Jen there, and he fell out of the up smash. Very, very unfortunate as well. Regardless, that hit with the secondary hit there. Very, very good for Venya. <gasps> He got the goal lead too, but unfortunately, again, was not able to execute on the leads that he's getting. And he landed with down it, which is very, very quick. I love that idea from him. Yeah, but landing with down air with Greninja could be both a gift and a curse. Uh, good Ooh, patience from Venya avoiding that up smash. I he didn't get hit by it, but he's still going to get back thrown anyways. Jen at 103%. And this is where Palutena thrives, right? At the low percent combos. Trying to get the nail out of shield, but Venya stuffed it out with that up smash of his. Yeah, but Jen can only get those nail combos if he can get in on him. Really, really great pivot grab. Trying to go for the pivot cancel at tilt as well. Not sure what he was looking for with that one. Right now he's put off stage. Took a very cool, clean 26.5%. And both of them are just like spacing each other out. They're both testing each other, saying, "Are you gonna commit, or am I gonna commit?" And yeah. honestly, it's it's refreshing to get that kind of a change of pace. Ooh, Venya air dodging back down to the ground, but Jan not being able to punish in time accordingly. Venya almost getting the pivot grab. I really love the intentionality there. And that's it. That's the up throw. Whoa, nah, he's opting for back throw, throw instead. I'm surprised. And, and I'm, <gasps> that's oh! it. That's what he was looking nice. for all set long. And he finally gets it where it matters the most. So really, really great for Venny of there. And if Jen is going to go for another one of those explosive flames, Whoa. I would not be surprised if Venny tries to counter Whoa, it. Oh, that was a nice answer for Jen. Bringing it right back to an even game, potentially making the game five more and more probable as we go on. Falling back here. Yeah. Wasn't able to get the lead into Florida though. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Ah, Venya, to... Venya trying to get some offstage combos of his own. That's gonna be another up here. Not quite. And you see, both of them are starting to mix up the timing on their follow up scene. Ooh. Ooh. And that was a good off of one combo breaker. Uh oh, and now Venny has to find a way to land. He has to be really, really careful. I love that recovery. He just like dipped under the stage for a split second. Uh, nah, Venny uh, Venya was gonna try so and go scary. for that back air again, but he had a feeling that Jen was gonna see it coming. It's a grab. And that's it. That's gonna be the down throughout. Ah, yes. Try to get the reverse aerial rush back air. And nope. Ah, he had the lead on it too, but unfortunately he was a little bit too far down and too fast of a follow to be able to yeah, catch Pally Drift. Yeah, I gotta catch up with that up Yes, and that's taking it back to game five. Wow. My God. Once again, seeing uh, a lot of game fives coming out uh, in this top 12.
Amazing. Nothing at all. Well, you're looking at my Twix? Yes. What? I'll give you a dollar. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Huh? How much was this? It was a dollar. It was a dollar? No, yeah. I wanted one. Okay. I wanted a single Twix thing. Okay, I'll give you one. Like a single. After, after uh, this game five. But anyhow, game five, opting for FD. This is a phenomenal stage for the ninja because he's just able to make sure that you'll never see the light of ground. Um, right now. Now, Jen putting 76% uh, unanswered damage on Venya. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're fighting, we're fighting that water shuriken. Great down tilt, and he almost got the lead on the drift as well uh, with the up air. Okay, Venya, uh, Jen had the great idea with the parry, but unfortunately he wasn't able to go Ooh. another one in time. And Jen is so deep. Yes, he's he still keeping him accurate. off stage. Oh, uh, but he missed the down smash. Yeah. He had the right idea as well, but just has to release it on the half a frame later. Ooh, he oh. almost oh. got down, down in for that Jen again with the right idea. Just mistiming it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both, uh, both of these players getting a handle on each other's habits. A really, really great neutral and something from Jen. Right now. He's just going to try and counter again. He Venya. doesn't want to get hit by that down tilt. Okay, now Venya with those retreating forward is just forcing Palu to respect the space and down and into forward out. But right there, he just forced another counter from Jen. Um, Jen not being able to deflect it at all. Ooh, and he once again almost got the two frame. But oh, the F tilt from Jen. And now Jen has the lead the first time in. Well, I don't know, since last game, I guess, but... <laughs> yeah, since, since, uh... I want to say since game three. Um, but yeah, getting a really, really great 33%. Already 45, and Jan is starting to maybe run away with this just a little bit. He's at 152%, unless Venya finds a way to close out the stock right now. Yeah, which good, he did. Old, good old down tilt to forward here. Yep, definitely the good engine bread and butter to be looking out for at all times. Right now, Venya dancing around him, trying to get something started as well. But those dash attacks on shield, even though they say it's not going to really give him much. Ooh, almost got the tech chase as well. Oh, caught him charging down smash. And Venya is amping up the aggression. You don't see him going in with those retreating fairs anymore. You just see him going in. Knowing that this is my time, and and he's just getting out so much off of it, the landing up there into a grab and to go yeah, off stage. Yeah. He's gonna force him to, yeah. He, I knew he's gonna force him to uh, just drop with down here. Falling out of the neutral, that could have been really really bad for Venio. So very fortunate on his part, and unfortunate for Jen. I love that he was mixed cute the whole set. He was doing back hill out of that, and just Jen was ready to shield that. But he was not ready to shield the, uh, the side piece, so that's a really good mix up for Venya. Oh, but the dash attack. attack the drag down, drag down ooh, and there. ready with the tech though. Can't believe that Nair actually beat out the up smash. And right now, whoop, that's it. That was beautiful for Venya. That was so perfectly timed, and oh, he got the, the perfect hitbox of it too. And we're seeing another even game here. Another even game five. Regardless, right now Venya is starting to land on top of Palu a little bit, which is a little bit, little bit dangerous. Then dashing up and shielding, not wanting to get hit by those shurikens. He just wants to preserve all of his percent, but still getting hit by dash attack up smash. Up tilt into up air. Very, very classic. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's a possible moment. Yes. I mean, Venya is like... He has the good idea with him. Yeah, and of course he's gonna catch him with that up smash. And Venya will move on to winners finals. Wow. <laughs> well, definitely both players giving it all they got there on that last wow. one. That wasn't that was a But Venya was that. able to like I don't want to say cheese, but he was just able to take a stock a little bit earlier than God intended with the uh, with the upbeat.